My designated driver today is Matt Horseman, <laughs> uh, Chief Game Designer on Dirt 2. Uh, and he's going to be uh, showing us a couple of uh, three events, I think. But first of all, let's just pause to look at the festival atmosphere that we've been at pains to uh, recreate in the, the game's front end. Um, we're not known for doing boring front ends, and this is uh, no exception. We wanted to create the, the real feel of uh, race festivals. If you imagine the X Games meets Glastonbury. So it's not just about racing, it's about people getting together and listening to music. Um, and there is a fully licensed music track, the, the, the listing of which we will be releasing uh, at a future date. Um, this RV that the player is in at the moment um, serves as the player's home from home on his uh, tour around the world's race festivals. Um, and as he gains experience and as he visits various places, he'll, um, he'll collect souvenirs from, from the different places. There's a cat from China, a double-decker bus from London. We have various other regional stereotypes in there as well. Um, and now we can go to the world map, which is where Matt can choose which event to go to. And we're first going to go to um, a raid event in Malaysia, which is um, the discipline inspired by the Dakar rally uh, and Colin's participation in it. Matt's played this before, so he's, uh, he's racing on Sirius and he'll be uh, selecting uh, the, the Touareg. I think won the Dakar rally last year, so it seems an appropriate choice. You can hear how the soundtrack, soundtrack integrates throughout the game here. Uh, it's played as if by a DJ at each of the, the race festivals and then obviously uh, accompany you through the game load and into the start of the, uh, the race. thing we hate at Codemasters Racing Studio is static loading screens, so we try to do as much as we possibly can to make sure that the player is constantly interested um, in what's going on while they wait for the, the track to load. Hey Matt, this is it. Welcome to the jungle. Justice is being served today. So Matt will be racing with um, number of the star drivers I mentioned earlier uh, and it's important for us that you really feel their, uh, get a sense of their personalities within the game so they'll, they'll chatter uh, on the radio during the race and that really makes the player feel like he's racing against humans rather than uh, a computer. Not demonstrating our celebrated damage it. systems there. The tracks in Dirt 2 are um, are based on real-world locations. Even if there is not actually a real-world track there, we've uh, meticulously researched each of the locations. And this particular one, a plantation in Malaysia, uh, is happily quite close to our um, art outsource uh, facility in Kuala Lumpur. So they were instrumental in making sure that we got this exactly right. You notice the skull there on, uh, on my dashboard. Throughout the game, you're able to collect dashboard items, um, little gimmicky things which you can, uh, you, you can see in your interior camp. sure that that carries over on into this game. Um, and what goes hand in hand with that 
um, <laughs> is the flashback system, which we pioneered uh, in Dread last year, and which makes a welcome reappearance uh, in Dirt City. And here, Matt is going to demonstrate that. This feature has proved so, so popular that uh, a number of other racing games are looking at incorporating it as well. So we're, we're flattered.